subscribers here. The what, sorry? We reached how many subscribers? A hundred thousand people? Holy towers of right run! Hello number ones, welcome back to my channel. This is the Metatron speaking. So, special 100k subscribers. Yes, I know. I know I was supposed to make the special 75k. Let me tell you what happened there. So, basically, I wanted to make the special 75k subscribers, which was going to be like a calling my subscribers thing. And then I noticed that it was already like 76k, 77k, 78k. And I'm like, oh, goodness gracious, I'm going to get a little late here because, you know, work and daily upload and things got, you know, quite complicated. So, I was like, well, I'll be a little late, but that's okay. But... 100k subscribers, that is freaking late, it's like 25,000 times late and of course I couldn't really skip the 100,000 subscribers, it's a, it's a milestone in the life of a YouTuber so um, the way I've decided to handle this is today we've got the 100k subs, a special video, it's gonna be a, this video is, is good you'll see what I came up with because this video is mamma mia but uh, we will still have the special video for the 75k uh, it's just that I'm not gonna call it 75k special because it just wouldn't make sense I'll just consider it as a as just a daily video that I will make and I'll call it like it will be like calling my subscribers video I will make it uh, so if you want to participate you st you're still in time uh, on time on time you're still on time and you just just go watch the video I will call you and you'll see how it works and how you can participate if you like the idea of you know having a little chat of a couple of minutes the, might be nice, I think. I don't know. Now, I still remember when I did the special 10,000 subscribers and I was already like, hey, I was talking with my mates and I was like, hey, 10,000 people, lads. 10,000 people are watching my content and now I've got like 100,000 It quickly. And I will tell you though that I, I want to be 100% honest. Why am I wielding a Tanegashima Teppo? Why not? Why not wielding a 16th century matchlock type arquebus when you can? Okay, after being attacked by one of my lights, I've decided to, I've considered switching to a hand-to-hand -hand combat blade, if you don't mind, you know, just to defend myself. This is amazing, this is amazing, I really wish to thank you, grazie, obrigado, gracias, arigato, sie sie, dankeschön, merci, spasiva, I am glad, I am humbled by this opportunity I have to have a greater audience and share my thoughts and my content and I'm really happy that you enjoy. But I have put some real hard work and the reason why I'm saying this is not really to praise myself but it's to tell um, people out there, um, content creators like me, who perhaps don't have a very big channel at the moment. When I had like 500 subscribers and then I would see other people saying, hey, I've reached 100,000. It felt like, how did they do it? That the reason why this happened is of course because of the fact that I've got fun, a fantastic community who interacts with me and you share my content and I recognize and commend you for that, for being really, really cool. But on the other hand, I did have to put a heck of a lot of hard work. If you look at my first videos when I started to be a YouTuber and you compare them to my newest videos now, you will see a huge improvement in the quality of the content and the presentation. Does that mean that my content now is perfect? Absolutely not. I still have a lot of work to do to improve the quality of my content. But I do have to say that I had to work hard to make this happen. Believe in yourself and do all you can to improve the quality of your content and you will see success. So what is the 100,000 special video in the Metatron channel? What, what is it going to be? Okay, what we're going to do, since this channel is really eclectic and now the fact that I upload daily has also allowed me to even more express myself with all the different things and fields that I'm interested in, um, in this video we will do just that. We will begin with some history. As a matter of fact, today, as it's a special day, I'd like to take you to a very beautiful place. We're going to visit a medieval cathedral here in Sicily, in the city of Palermo. I will make some interesting films and clips and videos. I will film and I will tell you the history. Now after having done that I also have to consider those of you who are here for the language videos and language content. So today we will also have some linguistic content in this video and I will also put a little bit of piano play because you do know I suppose that I play the piano and I sometimes occasionally upload videos of me playing the piano. Well today I've just decided the, the, the sound quality is not really good but I've decided to, to add a little bit of piano playing and just to spice up things it's going to be a very very small improvisation of me just 
playing some keys, random keys on the piano. I really hope you enjoy it. So, let's go to the Cathedral of Palermo. So, noble ones, here we are at the Cathedral of Palermo, La Cattedrale. Let's get in. The Metropolitan Cathedral of the Assumption of Virgin Mary. In Italian, Cattedrale Metropolitana della Santa Vergine Maria Assunta. Location, Palermo, Italy. Affiliation, Roman Catholic Church. Architectural style, Norman, Moorish, Gothic, Baroque. Neoclassical. Groundbreaking, 1185. Now, this is actually one of my favorite places here in Palermo because it's a beautiful, beautiful building. Basically, it's a cathedral of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Palermo. Please keep in mind that Archdiocese means a district with an archbishop. The architectural complex is breathtaking and it has lots of different styles. The reason for that is because it has a long history of additions, alterations and restorations. So, as we said, the church was created, was constructed, erected in 1185 by the Anglo-Norman Archbishop of Palermo and King William II's minister. Now, when we look at the upper orders of the corners of the towers, then we see that they were built, built between the 14th and 15th century, while the southern porch was added in, in the early Italian Renaissance. Now, people who are into architecture will immediately recognize also neoclassical style. This, this appearance dates from the work carried out between 1781 to 1801 by Ferdinando Fuga. Same for the great dome emerging from the main body of the building and the smaller domes, which cover the aisle's ceilings.
Alright then, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for more content. I will be making not only historical gaming videos and linguistic content, but we will also have some interesting, entertaining animated videos featuring Chibi Metatron. You should already know him, I've got a couple of videos, very nice lad. And the new entry to this channel, the Meta Man. Oh yes, you knew I was gonna do this. So, stay tuned, don't miss a video. Remember that I upload daily. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye.